In this video, we're going to look at OceanWP, a powerful and really simple new theme for WordPress that works really awesome with Elementor. So if you're a fan, this one is for you. All right, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over OceanWP, a theme I've been playing with a little bit and I've just been trying it on a new client's website. So I thought I'd dive in and show you how I set that up and what kind of things you can do with it. Why it's a really cool option, especially if you're going to use Elementor to build all your pages, which is always a great thing because it gives you so much power and flexibility. If you haven't checked out Elementor or Elementor Pro, then jump up here to the top and I'll put a link to the playlist and you can check out that awesome page builder plugin. One of my favorites right now and i'm also building my clients my last two clients websites with that plugin as well as a side project i'm doing so ocean wp it's quite a lightweight theme you can add or not add certain things depending on what you need i've gone quite lightweight with my clients because i like to do things mostly myself but there's a lot of different things you can add if you want to use them some you pay for some you don't but in general, it gives you quite a lot of flexible options for the header, the footer, the colors, the buttons, all of that kind of stuff, the fonts, all of the basic stuff you expect from a theme, but it's still very lightweight and works out of the box with Elementor. What does that mean? That means that they give you the option to hide or show different parts of the page so that you can make a canvas, a blank, sheet so to speak so you can make your elemental stuff and you can paint pretty pictures with elementor which is great because if you have to try to ram elementor into a theme and the theme's trying to put stuff on the page and they're all conflicting with each other it's a real pain in the ass so if these themes allow you to basically reduce their influence on the page so that you can bring element elementor into the max that's great so these two really work hand in hand and Elementor is recommended uh, to be loaded as the recommended plugins. If you load the theme, it'll recommend you load a supplementary OceanWP uh, plugin, which I'll show you in a second, as well as Elementor. So the kind of sites you can build, all of this kind of stuff, you've got a header, a top bar above the header where you can put phone number, social media, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's got some really nice extra plugins, which they do via extensions. You've got pop-ups, portfolios, WooCommerce stuff, sticky footer. I'll just jump in here and show you some of them. Uh, Instagram, so you can put your feed. That's really popular, especially with travel and fashion bloggers these days. Um, post slider. The general post layout on the blog is decent, but if you want a really sexy one, you have to do that. Uh, there's a demo import, which is really cool. That's free. So you can bring in the demo sites and play with those and see how they set those up. There's quite a bunch of demo sites, which you can see over here. Um, some are using Pro Elements, some not. So you can dive in. I was diving into one of their sites here the other day to try and see how they set them up. So that whole bunch of demos, which are, I believe, constructed all with Elementor. And you can basically set up sites, which brings in all the parameters. So you can start from scratch. You can see which ones you want to use. So that is really cool. Back to the extensions. What else have we got? Custom sidebar widgets, sticky footer, sticky header. I haven't got that turned on for my client at the moment, but you can do that quite easily with their extensions, which is recommended because it works with their theme. But there are other sort of hack plugins you can get. From WordPress to do that because sticky header is actually not that difficult to do. So basically it's a really lightweight extendable theme that works with Elementor. If that sounds really cool to you let's dive in and have a look how we set it up. So the first thing you want to do is install the theme and you can basically add it from WordPress directly. You don't need to go to their website. You can search, you can do add new theme and then you can just type in Ocean WP. I'm running this WordPress locally using MAMP. You can also use WAMP, I think, which is um, yeah, Apache 
PHP SQL running locally, so I don't need a server, but anyway, it's a different discussion. Um, yeah, so you type in Ocean WP and then this will come up and then you just activate and install. Mine's not activated because what do we all need? Drum roll, child theme. If you're ever developing and you want to customize the theme, you really should use a child theme. And Ocean WP has a child theme available, which you can upload directly. I think from memory, I just typed in Ocean WP child theme. And then I downloaded it directly from their website here. You can see the URL up here. You download this child theme. It's a zip file and you can upload it as a normal theme. And basically what that gives you is a kind of a blank theme with just a few things in it. There's a style.css and a functions file and maybe an image file. And that enables you to customize your CSS manually in the style or even customize any of the other files. If you're going to do any of that, you need a child theme. If you're not going to play with that, it's not so important. You can change the CSS and everything uh, also within the theme in the customizer. But I find it easier to do it manually in the style.css. So I always use a child theme. So they're the two things I did to set up the theme. And then for the plugin, they recommend you add Ocean Extra, which I'll show you what that does in a second, and Elementor. And I've also added granular controls for Elementor because that's got a couple of settings that I needed for my client. You don't need that. Um, it does parallax and a couple of other things, closing the accordions by default, etc. It's not an awesome plugin, but it has a few cool features and a nice exit and preview button built in for Elementor, which isn't always easy to do from Elementor's control panel. So you want to download these, and what the Ocean Extra gives you is this theme panel here, which enables you to to decide what is loaded, um, including the custom CSS, which I didn't load because I didn't need it. As I said, I edited mine in the style sheet, but all of these are loaded and you can choose which ones. So you can make your customizer lighter or heavier because it takes quite a bit of memory to load the customizer, as I found out when mine crashed and I had to increase the memory to 128 megabytes on my local installation. But on a server, you shouldn't come across that problem. So the customizer, if we jump into it, which is where you do pretty much everything for Ocean WP, takes a little bit of time to load, even locally, because it's quite heavy. Hopefully it's working, it seems to be loading. And there we have all the options. And these were mostly turned on from that theme panel. So you really do need the theme panel, otherwise it's really sparse in here. You don't see much at all. So this is where everything is done. And this is a basic layout of um, a theme, except it's actually for my client in French, but let's forget that. Um, there's a couple of elements still in here from the client, the green and stuff. But anyway, basically, this is the Ocean WP layout and blog post and everything for your homepage if you don't do any customizations. So what can you do in here? What can Ocean WP do for you? Um, you can do your site identity, which is the name of the site and the title, which appears on your homepage. You can customize your menus, which just takes you into your normal WordPress menu. So that's nothing very exciting. All your widgets, the homepage settings, just which pages are set. Again, you can set all of this in WordPress outside of the customizer. It's not very interesting. The general settings starts to get really interesting. You can set all the defaults in here for all the colors and the links and everything in general that's happening on your site. And what's really cool in Ocean WP is you can set up your general page settings. So I set up a default page with no uh, widget. So when I create another page, not the blog page, which is here, but the normal page, I didn't want a sidebar on any of my pages. Posts, it's okay, but pages, I didn't want it. So I set up the default here, you can have left, right, etc. And you can also somewhere decide whether how wide it is, 1200 is fine. 
width percentage, all of that stuff you can set up here if you want to make your sidebar wider or not. Um, and this will apply automatically to all of your pages, but you can turn them on and off on the pages too. It just saves you doing it each time you create a page. So you want to go in and set this up from the beginning, decide whether your page title is shown and breadcrumbs are shown on the pages or not. Um, I hid my title because I wanted to make my own title. They have uh, their own, I think it might show up now, which I found really ugly. There you go, there's the title. So I hid the title on all my pages and made my own titles, but you can decide if you want to do that or not. So all of this applies as default to the pages, all the colors, all the fonts. You can set all of that up in here, whether you want there to be a scroll to top, which is really cool that you can decide on the icon and stuff, whether it's visible so that when your page gets really long, there's kind of a hovering little button on the bottom automatically without having to add any plugins. Really cool, I've been asked how to do this on other websites and you have to add plugins or hack it in JavaScript, it's really painful. Um, yeah, you can change all of your colors, you can change your 404 page layout, you can select a template. You can create templates in Ocean WP and even inject them into the headers and footers. I'll probably do another tutorial on that, but you can actually take Elementor and fully customize it and inject it into the header and footer in Ocean WP. So huge thumbs up for that. Click the thumbs up. That is awesome. So you set all your general settings and your typography, whether you want the top bar showing, how big you want your headings to be, all of the default stuff, you can set it in here. As I said, as a more of a developer kind of mentality, I do all mine in my style sheet because I like controlling it from my style sheet but you can do all of it in here, all the customization for the whole theme in here. Elementor can also take over some of that stuff, but as a theme-wide thing, I prefer to do it all in here because you want it all in one place and then you can switch off uh, Elementor. Whether you want a top bar shown or not, mine is hidden, um, I believe. You can enable it and it should show up now. This is quite cool for customers who want phone number, um, email address, social media icons along the top. It's quite cool to have those up there. Um, always really good to have extra ways to contact customers. I have a video on that as well, how to make your contacting abilities better on your website. But this enables you to do all of that stuff. So really, really powerful. And this is just kind of the general settings. You can set up the header, uh, specific mobile menu it's a separate mobile menu and they have a built-in very rudimentary but still quite flexible mega menu so if you and if you don't know mega menus it's when you have a ton of sub menus within a menu so if you go and look at a car company they often use them so you click on um, trucks for example and a huge menu will drop down with all the different ones you can put pictures in there you can put links in there, etc. In this mega menu, you can't go that far. You can put in widgets in the far right and you can put links in the other sections. You can decide how many columns. So I'm using that for my clients. That was really cool. It's built into the theme. With other clients I've had, you have to actually get a mega menu plugin, which is often a huge burden on the website. It's a real pain in the ass. They're expensive or they're horrible. And these guys have it built in. So all the really cool stuff you need, the different footer, the widgets, all of that stuff is built in. Uh, social media icons you can see down here as well. That's all built in. Um, the very bottom footer you can customize. You can customize all the text. Again, with a lot of themes, this stuff is in the code. You can't get to it. Often you can't get to, like in Divi, I know I use Divi a lot as well, you can't get to the text in the footer. You have to customize the footer PHP file in your child theme to get this stuff to work. You can turn it on and off here. The theme doesn't always do a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff is done by the page builder, but you need the theme to be flexible enough to customize your header, your footer, your widgets, your colors, and your headings, and yeah, basically these guys have it all covered and they have all of the extensions and they work with Elementor. So if we go in and have a look at Elementor, I'm just going to exit without saving here. Just quickly to finish off this and not spend too much of your precious time. If we create a blank page here, 
you can actually use a template and decide if you're going to do a landing page, an Elementor canvas, or a default template. And if we do a default template, just to show you what that looks like, and publish that, and chuck in some Elementor elements, you will see basically what we get by default, because I've set up my page to have no sidebar widgets and anything, you can actually bring in an image here, choose an image, and you've got the header and the footer automatically included. But if we go back and you just want to do a plain page without anything at all and you want to fully customize it, you can actually go in and do Elementor Canvas. And then you'll probably, we should have no header and footer now. So now we have a blank, fully blank page. So this is all built into the theme and that's not always the case. You have to go and find themes that are compatible. There's Astra, there's Ocean WP, there's Generate Press, I believe, but not every theme does all of this stuff out of the box. So your Elementor is fully integrated in that sense, in the header and the footer as well, which is really cool. Um, I'll just quickly jump in and show you where that's done. You can go in and create uh, templates in here. I believe it's in my library. You can add uh, new templates in your library and then you can bring them into Ocean WP in the header and footer section via a custom template. So as I said, I might do a tutorial on that at another point if you guys want to see that. But this is really, really powerful. So Ocean WP, great thing to use, lightweight, extendable, Elementor compatible really really awesome and i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did give me a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already you'll definitely benefit i'm doing lots of elemental stuff i jump into thrive occasionally if you're interested in that i'm looking at astra ocean wp as well as seo and getting your site found on google i have tons of videos on that as well so you're well worth subscribing you're going to get a lot out of this channel and you guys will see me in the next video.